and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today I will take you through another short Pilates flow and um, this Pilates flow will be targeting your whole body but especially your inner thigh so this is what we're concentrating on today so let's start with a little warm-up bring your feet about hip distance apart soft bend in your knees and let's take a few shoulder rolls sliding the shoulder blades down the back just mobilizing warming everything up keep your neck long spine long so keep growing tall through the crown of the head and let's take them forward big circles with those shoulders for two and one bring yourself back to center slide your left hand towards your left knee and take it all the way to the opposite side so bringing lateral flexion into the spine just warming everything up let's go for two and last one from there keep your feet hip distance apart you can bring your hands in front we go down exhale to lift we go down exhale to lift squeeze the glutes at the top push your hips forward as you go up make sure the feet are in line with your hips and your knees are following your toes and we're hinging from the hips shoulders are staying away from the ears for four and three two more on the last one let's stay down from the right heel lifts lower left heel lifts and lower so try to stay quite low in the squat if you need to come a little bit higher do so but otherwise try to stay here really working into those legs for four three two one stay low we pulse for nine eight seven more six five four three two and a one come all the way up and let's take a wide plie stance so your feet are turned out in about 45 degrees bring your hands onto your hips knees are going to follow the toes inhale to go down exhale to come up so we're really getting into those inner thighs now warming up the legs keep going Keep your spine nice and long, relax in the shoulders, belly button is engaged towards the spine. For four, and three, two more. On the last one, stay low from there. Bring your hands behind your head. Your left hand reaches to your right ankle. Bring yourself back, opposite hand, opposite ankle. Bring yourself back. Try to stay low in your plie. Tuck the tailbone under slightly if you can, and we reach, come back for four, and three, let's go for two, last one, come back to center, keep your hands by your ears, knee to elbow, opposite side, so going deeper into that lateral flexion, legs are working, core is strong, for three, two, and one come back to center come up shake out those legs let's step to the back of our mat so you have space in front of you inhale here exhale tuck the tailbone under tuck the chin in slowly roll through your spine head is heavy arms are heavy when your fingers touch the ground just hang here in a ragdoll you can swing to the right and to the left and when you're ready let's walk those hands out into a full plank position feel free to release your knees on the ground if full plank is not for you from there tap both knees down lift we tap and lift tap lift just for three warming up the core two last one tuck the toes under start walking your hands towards your feet bend your knees come back into your forwards fold inhale here exhale allow the head and the arms to be heavy slowly rolling through the spine back up into a standing position inhale at the top exhale rolling all the way down head is heavy come all the way towards the floor fingers touch the ground walking back into that plank bind yourself into the plank spread your fingers wide separate the shoulder blades apart and we hold for three two one release the knees down push back into a child's pose or rest position just take a big inhalation here and exhale here 
and slowly roll through the spine into a seated position. Let's swing our legs forward. Bring your hands behind your knees, seeker through your spine, slowly come all the way down into a lying down position. So spine is long, shoulders are relaxed, neck is relaxed. Bring your feet together, knees apart, but keep control in your knees. So they're not dropping to the side, you're still controlling that halfway point. Hands are resting by your sides, inhale here. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, start rolling through the spine into this open knee bridge position. Squeeze the glutes at the top, inhale. Exhale, soften your upper, middle, and lower back onto the floor. We go again, inhale. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under, rolling through the spine. Slowly articulate through every vertebra and come all the way down. We go for a couple more. In your own time, with your own breath, keep the knees wide, keep pushing through the feet. Make sure you're not holding any tension in the shoulders or the neck and keep going. A couple more. And let's go for our last one. And this time, as you come up, stay there. So stay high. Squeeze the glutes a little bit more. We close the knees, we open. We go close and open. Keep the hips nice and high if they have dropped. Pick them up again. Keep pushing through the grounded shoulders, but don't keep any tension in the jawline or the neck. Keep going. Let's go for five. Four more, and three, two, last one. Keep the knees closed, we pulse and pulse. Knees together, feet together for eight, seven. Lift for six, five, four more, three, two, one. Slowly roll through the spine, all the way down. From there, let's come onto our side. So on your side, you can be on your elbow or you can extend your arm and release your head down on the ground. Feet are in line with the hips, knees are stacked in front. Hips are stacked on top of each other. Hover both feet off the ground. Exhale to open the knees, inhale to close. We go open and close. If this is too much, keep your feet on the ground and go from there. As long as the hips are staying stacked, belly button is staying engaged towards the spine, pelvic floor is lifting. Keep going. No tension in the neck, so keep that space under the chin. Keep the neck long. Open for five, four more. Let's go for three and two. On the last one, keep it open. Halfway close, halfway open, close and open, close and open for eight and seven, six more, five and four, three, two and one. Release the knees down, extend both legs away. From there, top leg lifts, bottom leg joins, and then we lower both. We go top leg, bottom leg, and both. Point through the toes. Try not to have any rotation in your hips, which means that your knees are both facing forward. Keep going. Try to keep the upper body as still as you can. If you have to take a bend in your knees, that's absolutely fine. Or you can also work one leg at a time, lifting the top leg and lowering. If lifting both is challenging, but a good challenge is always welcome. So give it a go. Let's go for two. And let's go for last one. Bend your top knee into a 90 degree angle. Just rest it in front. The bottom leg lifts and lowers. So again, working into that inner thigh, reach the toe away from your center, reach the hip out of its hip socket. So we're trying to still keep that length in the side body. Keep going. Let's go for six, five more, and four, three, two more. Last one, bend both knees in front, so it's a 90 degree angle in your knees. Exhale to open, inhale to close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. So point through the toe if you can, and try to maintain that 90 degree angle in your knees. Hips are staying stacked, upper body stays still. We go for four, 
and three, two more. On the last one, keep it open, little circles here. You might be feeling this by now. Let's go for four, three, stay strong, two, one, reverse. Let's go for four, three, two, one. We tap the knees, tap the toes, tap the knees, tap the toes, four, six, and five, four more, just three, Let's go for two, last one, and let's roll on to our back and take figure four stretch. So take that stretch in your glute. The working leg is going to over the opposite knee, flex your feet and give them a little pull towards your chest. And from there, let's bring ourselves onto our forearms. So forearms are down. Make sure that your elbows are directly under your shoulders. Push out of the forearm so you're opening your chest up towards the ceiling. Bring your legs into a tabletop position. On the exhalation, you drop your knees to the right and then bring them all the way back. Drop into the opposite side and bring them back with control. Keep going. Find your breath here. And with control, bringing those knees back into the center. Shoulders are staying facing forward. Neck is staying long. So we're gazing just over the knees. Let's go for last two. And let's go for last one. From there, extend your legs up towards the ceiling. We go straddle, criss, cross. Straddle, criss, cross <laughs> can't see you guys but i'm sure you're all doing well keep going point through the toes if you can if you need to take a bend in your knees you can do it with your knees bend straddle criss cross don't forget to push out of those forearms to so try not to collapse into your shoulders and let's go for three two last one and bring those legs back into a tabletop position. Right leg extends, bring it back. Left leg extends, bring it back. We go extend and in, extend and in. So working those abdominals, working on our center, on our core, the powerhouse, we always move from the center. X four and three, two more. Last one, let's reverse, extend both legs away, right knee comes in, bring it out, left knee in, bring it out for four, and three, two more, last one, beautiful, release the feet down on the ground, push yourself up, let's take a forward fold, so flex your feet, try to lead with your chest here and not with your face. So we're trying to stretch out the hamstring. If this is not for you, bring your feet together, knees apart, and just drape yourself over the legs. Take this little release. Take a slow inhale and a slow exhale. And from there, let's switch to the opposite side for our legs. Coming again onto the elbow, or maybe on an extended arm. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked, feet are in line with the hips. Hover the feet off the ground if that works for you. Open on an exhalation, inhale to close. Exhale, inhale, keep going. Again, feet on the floor is absolutely fine as well. Take it to your own level, wherever that is, is perfect. And down. Let's go team for three and two. On the last one, keep it open, halfway close, halfway open, close and open. So we're not dropping the knee all the way down, keeping that control, belly staying engaged, bracing through the abdominals for six and five, four more, three, two, last one. Extend both legs away. We go top leg, bottom leg, lowering both top leg bottom leg and lowering both the top hand can be there in front of your chest for support if you are feeling a little bit of instability and again if this is too much go with that 
top leg lift and leave the bottom leg for the next exercise. Point through the toes if you can, knees are facing forward for three and two. Last one. And let's bend the top leg in front, 90 degree angle. Bottom leg lifts and down. We go lift and down. Point the toe and try to reach it away from your center. It's like you're trying to touch something at the other end of the room. No tension in the neck or the shoulders. If you're feeling any tension in the neck, just release your head down onto the ground. You can use a yoga block or a little cushion for support. For four and three two more last one bend both knees in front 90 degree angle point the toe exhale to open inhale to close we go open and close let's go for four and three just two on the last one keep it open we go for the circles for four three two one, reverse, four, four, three, two, one. We tap the knees, tap the toes, tap the knees, tap the toes. So you're internally and then externally rotating from the hips. Keep going. Let's go for four, three more, and two. Last one. Rolling on to the back, figure four stretch on this side. So settle into the stretch, flex the feet if you want some extra engagement. If you want to release the neck, you can look to the right, look to the left. And while we're here, we might as well work a little bit more on the abdominals. Slide all the way down, release your feet onto the floor. Bring your hands behind your head, interlace the fingers. Elbows are hovering off the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your head, neck and shoulders off the ground. Inhale to lower. We go lift and lower. Keep the space under your chin. So think about an apple or a peach. So we're looking over the knees as we come up, imprinting the lower back into the ground. Elbows are staying in the peripheral vision. Belly is in. And let's go for three and two. Last one, and release the head down. Now we exhale to come up, bring your right elbow into your left knee and release down. Staying on the same side, right elbow to left knee and down. So you're bringing the leg up into a tabletop, closer towards that elbow. You don't have to touch, but the, the intention is there. The muscles will be working and down. Let's go for three and two. On the last one, come up, twist and stay there. Opposite leg comes in, tap it down. Comes in, tap it down. Come up a little bit higher in those shoulder blades if you can for three and two. Last one, placing the feet down. We release the head onto the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, switch into the opposite side. Find your twist and down. Exhale, lift and twist and down so try to peel the shoulder blades off the ground a little bit higher every time you come up point through the toes bringing that knee in towards the elbow last two last one come up stay lifted opposite leg comes in tap it down we go in and down for four and three two more last one Extend your left leg away. We go twist and twist. Elbows stay wide. Reaching the toes away for four, three, two, one. Knees in towards your chest, rocking side to side. Forwards and back, massaging the spine. Well done, everybody. Let's get ourselves up into a seated position. So bring your hands behind your knees, tuck your chin in towards your chest, C curve through the spine. Start rocking your legs away from your body, taking little rocks, massaging the spine. Don't roll any further than your shoulder blades. 
Inhale to roll back, exhale to come forward, balance on your sit bones. Try not to touch the feet onto the ground. Last two. And on the last one, let's come up and balance. Stay there. Maybe you can extend your arms forward, grow tall, slide the shoulder blades down the back. Try to extend your right leg away, bring it in, left leg, and bring it in. For three, two, last one and then cross your legs and just push yourself over your legs and come into an all fours position so going deeper into those inner thighs bring your right forearm down left hand in line with your right elbow knees together feet together belly button in exhale to open inhale to close we open and close keep pushing out of your right forearm and open your chest towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling, towards the floor. Gaze between your forearm and your hands so the back of your neck stays extended and long. So we're keeping that spine nice and long for three and two. Last one, keep it lifted, extend the leg away, bend, then we close. We open, extend, bend and close and again moving with your own breath and reach bend and close try to point through the toe if you can so the whole leg is engaged for two and let's go for last one keep it extended we tap lift tap lift for four and three two more last one bring the knee in let's take a little pigeon so push your right knee in towards your right wrist slide your left leg away push yourself up open the chest and maybe come onto your forearms square your hips if that works for you if you're feeling any tension or pinching in your knees please ease out of this maybe your heel is into your pubic bone Maybe you can bring it into a 90 degree angle, whatever works for you. And let's push ourselves up and switch to the opposite side. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see me. Left forearm is going down, right hand in line with the left elbow. Belly button in, push out of the forearm. Exhale to open, inhale to close. And again here we're maintaining that 90 degree angle. Spread the fingers wide on your hands so you have that stable base you can move from and lift lower we lift and lower let's go for three and two last one keep it lifted extend bend and close we open extend bend and close for three just two Let's go for last one. Keep it extended. We tap and lift, tap, lift for four and three, two more. Last one and bring yourself all the way up onto your hands. This time right knee into right wrist, sliding the left leg away, squaring the hips towards the floor, coming up or maybe coming all the way down onto the forearms or you can even release your forehead onto the floor if that feels good taking deep inhalations through the nose and exhale through the mouth and from there push yourself up onto your hands let's swing the legs forward once again and we're coming back onto those forearms just like we did before elbows are directly under the shoulders let's bring feet together knees apart flex your feet exhale to extend inhale bring them in so you're in a first position in your feet and you're bringing knees in and extending them out like a little frog and in four five and four let's go for three and two last one bring them in point through the toes we're going to extend the legs out your right leg is going up left leg down bring them in and then we twist and in extend bring them in extend bring them in 
and again reaching the toes reach and back reach and back just two last one and let's bring the feet together and windscreen wipe those knees side to side well done everybody we'll just go for a little tricep dip just to include those arms into our workout give them a little bit of work as well i feel like my hair completely is living a life of its own today step your feet a little bit closer to your bum and let's hover the bum off the ground keep the elbows straight exhale to lift your bum off and up towards the ceiling exhale to lower keep your elbow straight here we go exhale to lift don't drop your head inhale to lower and hover and lift and hover keep the elbow straight shoulder strong arm strong let's go for two more keep the knees parallel to each other last one and hover your bum off the ground now we bend exhale push inhale bend exhale push just for seven and six five more and four three two last one and release your bum onto the ground and let's sit or into a cross-legged position rolling out those wrists so interlace the fingers together rolling them one way and then the other way give them a little wave bring your feet together and knees apart and with slight pressure from your forearms, assist your knees to go down a little bit more. So you can open your feet like a little book and then slight pressure from your forearms. If you wanna go deeper into the stretch, lead with your chest and lean forwards into this butterfly stretch. Try not to lean into it with your face. Like this, you will be stretching the back of your neck. Let's extend the left leg away and bring your right foot in. From there, twist towards that foot. Flex the right foot, left foot, <laughs> and lean forward, leading with your chest. I am mirroring you guys, hence I'm saying the wrong foot or leg, but it's not the wrong one, just because it's a mirrored image. And from there, twist your body back into the center. Try to place your left forearm on the ground. Float your right hand over the side of your body to stretch out the obliques, stretch out the side of the body. Keeping that foot flexed. And let's come back to center and switch sides. We're extending the right leg away, flexing the foot, frame that foot. So twist yourself towards that leg and we lean forward. Finding that hamstring stretch, you can hold onto your foot. If you're right here, that is absolutely perfect as well. If you're here, that's great too. You're exactly where you need to be. And then let's twist. So placing that right forearm onto the ground or having your hand there. And then lead with that opposite hand over the side of the body. And let's come back to center. Bring your feet together cross-legged or you can sit onto your heels float your left hand over the side into a deeper stretch and then on the way back take your head with you extend your right fingertips away switch into the opposite side stretch and then take a head with you both hands on the back of the head allow the gravity and weight of your arms to stretch the back of your neck and come back to center release inhale your arms up towards the ceiling exhale release well done everybody thank you so much for joining me for this practice if you have any questions let me know i also teach live classes for block london i will leave all the details in the description box i also have a question about what is better is it better for me to voice over these videos or do you prefer me talking while we practice let me know that would really help uh, with the future videos Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!